We're going to take a break from fractions to talk about this thing called the least common multiple, but I promise it's going to come back together with fractions in a future video. When we're talking about multiples, what we mean for a multiple is a product of a number multiplied by another. For example, if I wanted to list multiples of 8, well, 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32, and so on and so on and so on. These are all multiples of 8, 8, 16, 24, 32, and so on. We could also list multiples of a negative number, maybe multiples of negative 7. Negative 7 times 1 is negative 7. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. Negative 7 times 3 is negative 21, and so on and so on. And actually, we could even multiply these by negative numbers. And so negative 16 is a multiple of 8 as well, because we're multiplying by negative 2. Positive 49 is a multiple of negative 7, because we've multiplied by negative 7. Multiples are just any product of a number multiplied with another one. And since there's a lot of them, we're interested particularly in what is called the least common multiple of two numbers, or three or four numbers. It is the smallest number, or better said, the smallest multiple several numbers share. So for example, 15, if I were to list multiples of 15, they would be 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, 120, and I could keep going. And then I could list multiples of maybe the number 20. Multiples of 20 would be 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, and I could keep going. Well, we notice if some of these numbers are in common, notice the number 120 shows up in both lists. 120 is a common multiple of 15 and 20. But what we're really interested in is the least common multiple. The smallest number they both have in common is the number 60. So we will say the least common multiple, sometimes abbreviated LCM, of both of these numbers is 60. And that's going to be particularly interesting to us in the future. So we're going to get really good at finding least common multiples in this lesson. And one of the best ways to find a least common multiple if we don't want to list out all the multiples, which is a pain when we're looking for bigger numbers especially, is we can list the prime factorization in a Venn diagram. Let me show you what I mean by that. If we have the number 15 and 20 that we just did, we can find the prime factorization of 15. 15 is 3 times 5. And we can find the prime factorization of 20. That one might not be able to do in my head. 20 is divisible by 2 10 times. 10 is divisible by 2 5 times. So it's 2 squared times 5. We'll list a Venn diagram where in the middle we're going to put whatever they both have in common between 15 and 20. Both 15 and 20 have the number 5 in common. Then in the 15 circle we'll put all the other factors. It's just missing the 3. And in the 20 circle we'll put the other factors, which is 2 squared. If I were to multiply all of these together, 3 times 5 times 2 squared, that will give me the least common multiple of 15 and 20. Well, 2 squared is 4. So 3 times 5 times 4 is 15 times 4, which is 60. 
we've got our least common multiple that we found from the list. This becomes really nice when the numbers aren't so nice. Let's say I want the least common multiple of 54 and 90. Well, we might not want to list all the multiples of 54. That's a pain. But I can quickly factor 54. 54 is divisible by 2, 27 times, which is divisible by 3, 9 times, which is divisible by 3, 3 times. 90, though, is divisible by 2, 45 times, and by 3, 15 times, and by 3, 5 times. And so then when we move to our Venn diagram, for the 54 and the 90, what I see is they both have a 2 in common. And they both have a 3 in common. In fact, they both have another 3 in common. So I'll say that's 3 squared. But then what makes the 54 unique is it's got an extra 3. And what makes the 90 unique is it has an extra 5. So again, what's in common goes in the middle. Might be more than one thing. What's not in common goes on the outside. It also might be more than one thing. And then to get the least common multiple, we multiply everything together. We have a 3 times a 3 squared times a 2 times a 5. Well, 3 squared is 9. 3 times 9 is 27. 2 times 5 is 10. Our least common multiple is 270. So we can find the least common multiple using a Venn diagram, identifying the prime factors they have in common, in the middle, all the other factors on the outside, and then just multiply the numbers in the circles together to get the least common multiple.